A viewer sent in this disgusting water called PC, which has not been cleaned in five years. If you want to send in your PC, I'll leave our email in the video description. As you can see, we have major build up on all of the fans, top, front, and back. All of the screws are rusted. There is major algae growth in the whole loop. Chunks of it at the bottom of every single tube. The GPU has seen much better days. The CPU block looks to have liquid marks of some sort stained on it. And we have actual webs down by the power splash route. I guess this must have been a cozy home. We will be redoing all of the tubes for this system as some of them are too short and wonky. Spec wise, we have an MSI X99 motherboard, CPU is unknown, Kingston HyperX Fury RAM, and a GTX 1080 fully water cooled with EK water blocks. But before we start cleaning, we better make sure everything's working properly. Okay, so I learned this is a second hand PC. The owner used it for two years and then he put it into storage for three years. Now I've noticed a lot of rust and stuff on here. I can't actually get a boot signal. So this is turning into a can you fix a viewer's gaming PC episode as well. What we're gonna do is we're gonna still clean it all up and then we're gonna go through the process of figuring out what is wrong with this and then hopefully we can get it all back up and working. Fingers crossed. By the way, one small mention, have you seen how cloudy that liquid is now? It's brown and disgusting. Let's get into it. To activate all of Windows features, head on over to whokeys.com. Purchase a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for as little as $16.93. That is a fraction of retail price. Use offer code IFR25 for 25% off. Copy your key from the user center and paste it here to activate. Alternatively, by clicking here, you can follow their step-by-step -step guide. You can now enjoy all of Windows features.
Okay, everything is now fully clean, but before we put everything back into the case, I wanna test everything outside so that we don't waste all of this time on hard work. Let's actually find out what is wrong with this PC. Firstly, I wanna try a hard boot with all of the original hardware. Let's give it a try. All right, we don't seem to be getting any type of signal. Let's try and narrow down what part is causing the issue or parts. I've already reset the CMOS, so let's go ahead and change out the GPU and see if we can get a signal under a new graphics card. All right, new graphics card installed. Let's give this a test. All right, so that's quite interesting. There's still no signal, and I've also tried a different slot as well. So let's actually test out the RAM. So as you guys can see, I've removed two sticks. Let's give this a test run. Okay, so that's quite interesting. It actually booted up this time. So I don't know whether it's the RAM or the RAM slots. So let's try some different variations of RAM and see what we can come up with. I've popped one stick back in, one stick is still out. Let's give it a try. All right, we don't seem to have any luck. So let's take this stick out and we will put another stick back in here and we'll try three sticks that way. And there you have it guys, so we've actually narrowed it down to one single RAM uh, channel, whatever you want to call it, that's not working. All of the RAM is fine and the GPU is fine. Let's put the original GPU back in, in this RAM format and we'll see if everything boots. So there we have it guys. Uh, the original GPU works, we have three RAM sticks, so we've narrowed it down to one slot. All of the RAM sticks work perfectly, it's that one slot. Now this could be damaged to the slot itself, or it could happen because some of the pins of the CPU are damaged. I didn't notice any damage of the CPU pin, so I would be inclined to say that it is the RAM slot itself. Now I was informed by the client that this PC is no longer going to be his. He's actually giving it to his mum, and his mum doesn't play games, she browses the internet, so you know, just having two sticks installed is not actually gonna be that bad. So we're going to remove one of them. We're gonna be having single channel. There's only gonna be eight gigs in there now, but that's plenty for what his mum needs to do anyway. So let's go ahead and get this all back in the case.
So there you have it guys, we managed to fix the PC, all of that mold is gone, there is no more rusty screws anymore, and this is one happy client. We decided to upgrade the tubes to 16mm tubes because 12mm, the walls just aren't thick enough and over time, all of those tubes decide to melt in some way and deform, which is not good for the loop. I tried to keep the loop similar to the original loop because that's what the client bought this PC for, that's why he loved it. But we fixed up all of the wonky tubes. The only difference is this tube, instead of going down and under the GPU, it is up and above so that it's an easier drain port facing straight down. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this transformation. If you did, Please leave me a like and please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you liked about this series and if you would like us to continue it. Once again, if you'd like to send your PC in to be cleaned by us, email corey at ifr.gg. I'll leave that in the video description. Consider subscribing. Join our Discord, guys. We'd love to have you over there and we'll see you all in the next one.